Whoa. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Cursed Forest video. So today we are currently on our way to the same location that we went to previously. I feel as though we have some unfinished business to straighten out. This location we haven't been to at all other than the previous time where we came across a very suspicious box that had biohazard stickers all over it. If you missed that video, then definitely be sure to check it out. It's on the channel now. But essentially, we had to leave because not only did it start pouring down rain, we started to hear disturbing and just frankly loud booming sounds coming from every direction. I, I just want to make sure that it's perfectly clear. There is nothing in these woods that could be causing all of these sounds and frankly I just don't know what could be causing them. We are now on our way back to that same location because I have with me a metal detector. My current goal at this point is to kind of go over the general area that we explored and see if we come across anything suspicious. I do have an email from a local individual who has grown up in the area and we're gonna go ahead and read it here in a moment when we arrive. He has some pretty terrifying things to say as well as a video that was apparently shot by someone he knew when they were visiting in the area a few years ago. We're gonna go ahead and check out this email that he sent to us as well as this uh, very creepy and disturbing video and uh, we're gonna see what we're up against. So we just now arrived to the entrance of the Cursed Forest. Before we get started, I wanted to quickly read over this email. Attached is a very mysterious video that uh, I have not yet seen. But apparently it was shot like 10 years ago in the local area when some uh, family of theirs were visiting and it was during a snowstorm. Uh, they captured some really mysterious sounds in the surrounding woods. Hello Casey, hopefully you're well. Uh, I've lived in the nearby area all of my life. I was even born on the current property I live on. Our property line crosses into what's known as the Cursed Forest. My family had a local legend of the property. Night in the early 2000s, my mother would see very large figures walking between the trees at night. Very round and very long, she described. She always worked late and would get home in the evening and would see them in the distance while walking to the house. I could tell you some stories. I'd avoid that place. Heard lots of unexplainable crashes from inside even though nothing is in there. That's really mysterious and I believe I'm gonna reach out to this individual to see if we can do some investigations together, maybe tell me some more stories of what their family experienced while living so close to the cursed forest. But with that being said you guys, let's roll this clip that he had attached to this email and see what it's all about. I wouldn't be out in my so there, it's going through that. Maybe if we just went a bit further up, we might see something. <laughs> oh, this is it. Maybe it wasn't 2012, it was, it was 2013. <laughs> Fucking hell. Alright, oh, okay. This video is absolutely terrifying. So unknown what the cause of these very large, creepy sounds seem to be. I don't know, they just seem a lot more intense. I just want to get to the bottom and see what is at the heart of the cursed forest. So now that that video is out of the way, uh, we are ready to enter the cursed forest. I grab my equipment. I literally had to go buy a shovel because I didn't have one. We're going to be metal detecting in the similar surrounding areas of where we investigated previously. Let's go check this out. Every time I visit the Cursed Forest, a feeling of dread consumes my entire body. It feels as if every instinct is telling me not to enter. Over the span of about an hour, I cover most of the surrounding area and find absolutely nothing. The entire time it feels as though I am being watched. 
So I'm not gonna lie, it seems like I've been metal detecting out here in this massive field for the better part of the past hour. Um, I haven't found anything out of the ordinary. I found a couple bolts earlier, but for the most part, there's been nothing. But I think the next steps are to see what is actually in the deep, dark depths of the forest itself. Upon entering, I was immediately met with something horrifying. I just heard something. That was like... That was like a scream or something. I have no clue what that could have been. That was loud. After advancing into the woods another 30 minutes, the metal detector's alarm started going off. <sighs> Looks like we got a hit. There's something over here. This is like the first one we've gotten in a while. I guess we're gonna see what it is. It's like right around this area. Um, honestly, this is crazy because we haven't really gotten much hits lately around here, which, you know, makes sense because there's like barely anything. Right around here, so let's see what we can find. Whoa. Look at this. Is this like a briefcase? You guys, this is incredible. Look at this thing. It feels like there's something inside. This is absolutely crazy. I was not expecting to find a, a briefcase out here. Whoa. There's another scream right there. Whoa. There's another scream right there. It sounded like a rock just was thrown over here. Is there somebody there? I just heard like a scream and then like a thud, like a loud thud, as if like a rock was thrown over in my direction. I'm just trying to like scan the area. There's like nobody, nobody here. Whoa, look at this thing. This is like some sort of notebook. Let's open this up and see what's inside. It's like it's an empty, whoa, hold on a minute here. What do we have? Whoa, look at this thing. What does that mean? There's like dirt on it. It's like it's a massive figure. It's incredible, oh my God, look at this thing. What is this? There's like pages ripped out and everything. What is going on here? There's just dots. Looks like these are tall figures. There's pages ripped out. There's more of them too. There's another screen. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna take this with me and we'll take a better look at it later. I'm out here for like two hours and we just come across this. This is just. This is really creepy and we just keep hearing screams and there was a rock thrown over here earlier from what it sounded like. I think it's time to go. Hey guys, so I just got back to the car. This is a absolutely shocking discovery. I was not expecting to find a notebook in the cursed forest while metal detecting, but frankly, these, these drawings in this notebook, like look at this, like what does this even mean? There's another like, there's a number two and then there's like some other symbol, but like, I don't understand what this even stands for, let alone what these large stick figures even represent. There's like a few pages that are 
ripped out but there's like the two and then this symbol and that symbol's in that other page there's like these random stick figures drawn but for the most part all of these pages are empty like what does this even represent like these are the couple pages that are ripped out but like look at this this is so weird honestly this is just the creepiest thing that i have ever seen and this is definitely the strangest find that i've ever discovered in the cursed forest if you enjoy the cursed forest series then definitely let me know below in the comments because we have some incredible videos coming so stay tuned thank you guys for watching and i will talk to you in the next video